I'm going to create a generator. So the first thing I have to do is import math. And the, the function I'll be using is factorial. What's a factorial, you say? Well, if I say math factorial 4, and I hit enter, I'm going to get 24. It starts at the number 4 and works it downwards. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Times 2 is 24. Times 1 is 24. And there's my answer. That's how it does this. So, I'm going to create a generator for factorials. Define gen factorial x. Here's where I'm going to run into a little bit of trouble. For i in range x. Now, when I pass a number to gen fact, like 4, jumps down to the for loop and interprets that to mean four iterations, and it starts counting at zero. So I'm going to get four iterations. That means zero, one, two, and three. Ooh, okay. Just keep that in mind. So for I in range X, colon, I want you to see what I we're dealing with for good reason. And the next is the yield command. The next and last is the yield command. Yield math dot factorial, and I'll pass it the letter I. And that's it. We're done. Best way to see this and understand this is to see it in action. So I'm going to call the function genfact. A equals genfact. I'm going to pass it the number 4. And hit enter. And nothing happens. Wow. A function in which nothing happens. Till I decide I want it to kick into action. Alright. Let's do it. Next. A. Huh. This is like interactive. Exactly. And it tells me. Print I. So I'm at the ith component. <laughs> I passed it 4, but uh, it's saying for 0 through 3. That's 4 iterations. Okay, it prints i. And i is a 0. And the factorial of 0 is 1, and that's a definition. It's really There's really a proof to it also. But for now, it's good just to say it's a definition. Well, what happened to that 0? What happened to 1, 2, and 3? Well, they get executed when I tell it to execute those guys. Next, A. So, when I hit enter, I should see two numbers pop up. The next number in the iteration, which should be 1, and the factorial of 1, which is 1. And there, there it is. Next, A. Well, the next number should be 2, and the Factorial for 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. There we go. And the last one is next A. That should be 3. So the number, the first number should be 3. The next number should be 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And bingo. That's exactly what we got. Wow. So this is an interactive function of sorts. That's what this is, an interactive function. And it stops, remember its current state, and then when you want it to, you can next day, and it will continue. It remembers where it left off and continues from there. That is amazing. We call these generator functions. Huh, what do you know? And that's all I've got to say for now. This is George Bull. Saying bye-bye.